اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ڈیئر لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹل مین ان ٹو ڈے لیکچر آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ود یو اباؤٹ پلمونری اسکولٹیشن ان پلمونری اسکولٹیشن بریڈ ساؤنڈ سم ٹائم بی نارمل اور اب نارمل ان ایڈوینٹیشیس اسکولٹیشن از پر ہیپس دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ ایفیکٹیو کلینیکل ٹیکنیک یو ویل ایور لرن پر ایوالویٹنگ اے پیشنٹ ریسپریٹری پنشن بیفور یو بیگن دیر آر سرٹن تھنگ دیٹ یو شوڈ کیپ ان مائنڈ It is important that you try to create a quiet environment as much as possible. This may be difficult in busy emergency room or in a room with other patient and their visitor. Eliminate noise by closing the door and turning off any radios or television in the room. The patient should be in the proper position for auscultation i.e. sitting up in a bed or on the cot ensuring that his or her chest is not learning against anything. leaning against anything if this is not possible ask for assistance or perform only partial assessment of the patient breathing your stethoscope should be touching the patient very skin when whenever possible or you may hear rubbing of the patient clothes against the stethoscope and men miss in interrupt them as a normal sound you may wish to wet the patient chest here with a little warm water to decrease the sound caused by the friction of hair against the stethoscope always ensure patient comfort be considered and warm the diagram of your stethoscope with your hand before auscultation as you are auscultating your patient please keep in mind these two question are the breath sound increase normal or decrease are there abnormal or adventitious edit from another source breath sound Auscultation to assist the posterior chest ask the patient to keep both arm cross in front of his heart chest if possible auscultation using the diagram the diagram of your stethoscope ask the patient not to speak and to breathe deeply through the mouth be careful that the patient does not hyperventilate you should learn to at least one full breath in each location it is important that you always compare what you hear with the opposite side eg if you are listening to the lifts up lift apics you should follow to the come by through by comparing what you hear with what you hear at right apix there are 12 to 14 location for auscultation on the interior and posterior chest respectively generally you should listen at least six location on both the interior and posterior chest begin by auscultating the a pictures of the lungs moving from side to side and comparing as you approach the bases making the order of the numbers in the image below a ritual a ritual part of your pulmonary exam is a way of ensuring that you compare both sides every time and you will begin to know what each area should should uh, should sound like under normal circumstances Pulmonary auscultation. If you hear a suspicious breath sound, listen to a few other nearby location and try to delineate de- its extent and character as we shown in the figure. Its position, as you we shown. Now we are coming to discuss with you normal breath sound. there are traditionally organized into categories based on their in, uh, intensity which location and inspirit- inspiratory to expiratory ratio breath sound are created to turbulent air polo in aspiration air more into progressively smaller airways with the alveoli as its spinal location as air hit the wall of these airway turbulence is created and produce sound In expiration, air is moving in the opposite direction toward progressively larger airways. Less turbulence is created. Thus, normal expiratory breath sound are quiet, quieter than inspiratory sound. Inspiratory breath sound. Now, I am coming to discuss with you tracheal breath sound. Tracheal breath sound are very loud and relatively high pitch. The inspiratory and expiratory sound are more or less equal in length. they can be heard over the trachea which is not routinely auscultated now i'm coming to discuss with you vis- vis- vesicular breath sound 
The vesicular breath sound is the major normal breath sound and is heard over the most of the lungs. This, this, this sound soft and low pitch. The inspiratory sound are longer than the expiratory sound. Now I am coming to discuss with you. Vesicular breath sound may be harsher and slightly longer if there is rapid deep ventilation. E.g. post exercise or in a children who have thinner chest wall as will vesicular breath sound may be softer if the patient is frail, elderly, obese or very muscular. Now I am coming to discuss with you bronchial breath sound. Bronchial breath sound are very loud, high pitch and sound close to the stethoscope. There is a gap between the inspiratory and expiratory phases of respiration. And the expiratory sound are longer than the inspiratory sound. If these sounds are heard anywhere other than over the manubrium, it is usually an indicated that the, an area of cons consolidation exists, e.g., space that usually contain air, now contain fluid or solid lung tissue. Now I am coming to discuss with you bronchovesicular breath sound. These are breath sound of intermediate intensity and pitch. The inspiratory and expiratory sound are equal in length. They are best heard in the first and second ICS anterior chest and between the scapulate posterior chest, i.e., over the main stem bronchi. Now I am coming to discuss with you as with the bronchial, bronchial sound when these are heard anywhere. Other than over the main stem bronchi, they usually indicate an area of consolidation. Now I am coming to discuss with you abnormal breath sound, absent or decreased breath sound. There are a number of common causes for abnormal breath sound including ARDS, decreased breath sound in late stages, asthma, decreased breath sound, ethyl ethylic Stasis, it is if the bronchial obstruction persists, breath sound or absent unless the ethylic stasis occur in the RUL in which case, cause case in which case adjacent trickle sound may be audible. Now I am coming to discuss with you emphysema. In emphysema decreased breath sound may be occur. Now I am coming to discuss with you pleular effusion. Decrease or absent breath sound if the effusion is large, bronchial sound may be heard. Pneumotherics decrease or absent breath sound. Now I am coming to discuss with you bronchial breath sound in uh, abnormal location. Bronchial breath sound occur over consolidated areas. Adventitious breath sound crackles, rails, crackle or discontinuous non musical breath sound. Here, more commonly on inspiration, they can be classified as fine, high pitched, soft, very brief or praise low speech louder less brief now i am coming to discuss with you when listening to crackle face special attention to their loudness fit duration number timing in the respiratory cycle location pattern from breathe to breathe change after a cough or shift in position crackle may sometimes be uh, normally heard at the interior lung basis after maximal expiration or after prolonged recumb recumbency. Now I am coming to discuss with you the mechanical basis of crackle. Small airways open during inspiration and collapse during inspiration causing the crackle sound. Another explanation for crackle is that ear bubble through secretion or incompletely closed airways during expiration. Condition are ARDS, asthma, bronchio, bronchio, bronchiochic stasis, chronic bronchitis, consolidation, early CHF, interstitial lung disease, pulmonary edema. Now we are, I am coming to discuss to discuss with you wheeze. Wheezes are continuous high pitch rising sound heard normally on expiration but also sometime on inspiration. They also produce wind air flow through airways narrowed by secretion, foreign bodies or obstructive lesion. Now I am coming to discuss with you note when the wheezes occur and if there is a change after a deep breath or cough. Also note if the wheezes are monophonic suggesting obstruction of one airways or fully phonic suggested generalized obstruction of airways. 
Now, uh, I am coming to discuss with you condition of pulmonary auscultation or asthma, CHF, chronic bronchitis, COPD, pulmonary edema. Now, I am coming to discuss with you raunchy, raunchy or low pitch continuous musical sound that are similar to wheezes. They usually imply obstruction for a larger airways by secretion. Streeter, streeter is an inspiratory musical wheezes. Heard loudness, loudness over the trachea during inspiration. Streeter suggests an obstructed trachea or larynx and therefore constitute a medical emergency that required immediate attention. Pleular rub, pleular rub or creaking or brushing sound produced when the pleular surface or in plem are rubbed and rub against each other. They may be discontinuous or continuous sound. They can usually be localize a particular place on the chest wall and are heard during both the inspiratory and expiratory phases. Contrition or pleular uh, effusion, pneumotherix. Now I am coming to discuss with you medestinal crunch, also called Heman sign. Medestinal cr cr crutches or crackle that are synchronized with the heartbeat and not respiration. They are they are he heard best with the patient in the left lateral decubitus position or lying down as with streeter mediastinal crunch uh, should be treated as medical emergencies condition are pneumomediastinum.